boy, do I have something exciting for you guys. This is going to be a Jasper AI tutorial to show off their new brand voice tool, which is awesome. So if you're wondering what brand voice does, it's actually just in the name itself. So imagine you are a blogger, okay, a content creator of any type, and you have a certain type of writing style. We all do. It doesn't matter even if you're close to another writing style, you have your own writing style. What brand voice allows you to do inside of Jasper is create a voice, as they call it. And you can basically train that voice to mimic exactly how you write. And the way to do it is you simply provide it information such as blog articles or copy you've written via email, and it will analyze it and find out exactly how you write so it can help you speed up the process later on. Let me just show you how it works. By the way, if you guys want to try this, there's a free seven day trial if you're not already a Jasper member, which I'll put the link in the description below. So this, as you can see, is Joe's workspace, which is my workspace, and I'm in the brand voice section. And you see there's voices and memories. We'll get into that later. But first off, what we want to do is we just want to add a voice. So I'm going to click on the add voice button and you'll see here, they give you two options. You can import your content by entering a URL, which I'm going to do in a second or from text. So as I mentioned before, if you have an email or any type of writing you have saved, you can copy that and use that text. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open a new window and go to my blog, joesdaily.com. And I'm going to take one of my recent articles that I wrote, copy the link, and I'm going to enter it into Jasper AI's brand voice, and I'm going to let it do its analyzation process here. Click continue. And as you can see, it's analyzing your text and it's getting all the information together, detecting the tone. So after your content's done being analyzed by Jasper, you can now modify your tone, which in this case, I'm not going to, but I want to show you what it actually picked up. So from my article, it says the brand voice is informative and enthusiastic using vivid descriptions, technical details, comparison, short paragraphs, bullet points, conversational tone, and excitement to engage readers and highlight the product's benefits, which is spot on because as a blogger, when I talk about products I'm reviewing, I like to be really excited, informative. So it really just got it down perfectly. If I want to rewrite it, I can actually tell Jasper using its AI technology to rewrite it or rewrite my tone and, and, and basically really just change up my writing style just a little bit, but I don't want to do that because I want to keep this helpful for when I write blog posts. I can name the, the voice, which I'm going to say Joe's daily blog posts. That way I, that's when I know what it is when I'm going to use it down the road in Jasper. And you notice at the bottom, it says make default for all the campaigns. I'm going to say yes to that only because I use Jasper almost 90% of the time specifically for blog posts and blog post ideas. So I want to keep that voice very consistent. So I'm going to say create voice. And just like that, I have my voice ready to go. It is so helpful to have this type of feature because now when I create my content and Jasper is helping me, I never have to worry about the voice is going to be out of line. Now let's jump into the memory section. Now I mentioned before we talk about this and there's a reason I saved it for last. So if you click on memories, what's really interesting about this is you can basically train Jasper to know all about your business or all about yourself. In this case, if I was a business, let's say uh, a small pizzeria in, in uh, I don't know, Chicago, Basically what I could do is put all my information as my company info, my product info, people info, industry info, and et cetera. You can see it all on the screen here. And the reason this is so important is because if you're talking with Jasper to help you do something for your business, maybe it's create a newsletter or something like that, it will remember because of the memories you provided it exactly everything about your business and it can refer back to it. It's almost like a personal assistant that remembers everything you provided it and it just spits it out when you need it. Now to end this video, I want to show you how you actually access the brand voice you created. Now, what you do is it, let's say I'm going to create a new blog post today. I click on create new content on the upper left corner. I'm going to say new blog post. And right off the bat, what you'll see is you're going to see the template for blog posts. But what most importantly is you're going to see tone of voice. And as you see here, it says Joe's daily blog post. Now my account specifically can only have one voice, but if you upgrade your account, you can have multiple voices and you'd see the drop down all the voices you've created. So you can see how powerful this is, especially if you maybe represent many businesses or you have different people in your workplace that have different voices and different structure, how they talk, how they speak, all that stuff. So this is really neat. And this is gonna save me so much more time because as Jasper pumps out information for me, I never have to worry about the tone being incorrect. All right, guys, that's it. That's Jasper AI's brand voice tool. It's brand new and it's super helpful and I can't wait to see how you utilize it. If you guys are interested in Jasper AI, as I said before in the beginning of the video, that there's a seven day free trial if you click my link, if you guys wanna try it out, I highly recommend it. 
If you guys are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I've been putting out videos at least once a week, sometimes more often, and I have other channels if you want to follow those. All the links are down below. Until next time, peace.